Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome today to Crest from Eat Create Sleep. I'm sorry that this video is so delayed, that's both of you guys and the developers. Because they were kind enough to send me this game quite a while ago. I very quickly looked at it, but I, if any of you have been watching the vlogs you kind of know that things have been delayed. So that'll be another topic for another video, I'm not going to saturate this one with it. So we're just going to get straight and look at the game. So Crest is uh, a take on sort of like a god game. But it's more about, like, um, religious interpretation. So, you are a god, or a godlike being, and you can help guide people on the world by issuing commandments through imagery. They can kind of take it one way, or they could take it the way you mean. They could, it, it's kind of, it's down to their own interpretation. It can be completely random. So it could go good, it could go bad. I think it's a kind of a cool idea. I will just say this is early access, but it is also incredibly cheap. Here it's about £4. So whatever the regional equivalent is for a few dollars or euros or whatever you use. So we will go into a new game. And I'll try my best to show you what it's all about. So we have a little bit of an intro here about how the world was sort of formed. So this is us. This is me with my lovely shaped head there. <laughs> I like this game. I, I, it's one of these games that I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the finished product of. You know when you occasionally get them early access games that are like, they're solid early access games and you can kind of take them as they are. And then you get others that you're like, I need to see the finished product as well because I feel like this one's got like a lot going for it. It's got like that, because of it having like that sort of like, I mean maybe it's not intentional, maybe this is me reading into it a little bit too much, but it feels like there's that little bit extra message there that you shouldn't take everything as it necessarily reads. So sometimes you have got to read between the lines a little bit because... What one person believes something means, someone else doesn't. As I say, maybe that's just me reading into it far too much. And what is wrong? I like how they change that. So between what's right and the stab someone, then what is wrong, and it gives them, gives them something. I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> if they're ready to take up the world, how are they fair? It's up to you. Right, so this is Crest. So imagine you're going to see the slightly... I tell you what, we'll just pause it for a minute, so we can look round. It's pretty. It's you know you don't get a massive amount of space. I mean you can probably this will probably get bigger later on, but you can see these are our lions and antelopes. So everything's like enlarged, so you can think of it like a resource node or something. I would have imagined. But uh, these are our little people here, our little tribes, and these are their different needs. So like these guys are unhappy. So, for them to be... So, at the minute, what the only thing that's making them happy is they have the necessary food for survival. So they're fed. They're not well fed, they're just fed. They're not starving either, so... Food is okay here, but everything else is bad. So, birth rate is basically nothing. They're getting some food, they're getting a bit of metal. Adults are there, so that needs to be sorted out. They, they basically need to start breeding, but also they probably have to increase the amount of food they're getting. So that's something we can look at. Let's see what else we got. It looks like most of the areas are pretty much the same. I mean, these guys and over here, these are actually overfed. So these guys are fairly happy. They're sort of like middle of the road. They're not necessarily unhappy, but they're not completely happy. Because it's like 50-50% of things. So food's in abundance there, so they're pretty happy about that. Right, so, what we want to be doing is start to write commandments to kind of guide people. So, like, let's say we took this little village here. We want to make a commandment. So, commandments are kind of done in, like, three parts. So, we want... Uh, so, we have forest in the world. So, this is the thing. These are kind of like your imageries. And you have to then try and make a commandment using these. So. Hungry followers. I think there was more. I 
could have sworn there was more like if you're unhappy, go and do this. Maybe I'll, maybe that was in the original one I played, not this version. Oh, maybe this just addresses it to like all hungry followers and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> okay. So, let's try and sort out the birth rate. So, oh yeah, here you go, unhappy followers. So, we could just address that all unhappy followers go and start having kids, but that's not necessarily going to be what we want. Right, hungry followers. So we're going to put a hungry follower in. You need to urge your followers to perform a certain subject. Urge your followers not to perform it. Urge your followers to prioritise a certain subject. Or urge your followers to move to a certain subject. So when they're hungry, we want them to go and get food. So that's antelope. So we want them to go to... Well, we urge them to perform a certain subject. So we want them to do something to antelopes. So when they're hungry, they go to antelopes. So in theory, I'm thinking they'll take this as when they're hungry, go and do an action to antelope, which is probably going to be butcher them. That's the theory. So we'll proclaim that commandment and we'll see how that takes effect. And then I do believe as this comes along... Right, so he's mining... Right, birth rate appears to be going up. Well, this will slowly keep going up because it's how close towards the next one is. A bit of rain over there. Right, these guys are absolutely ecstatic. They're ridiculously happy. So, we don't need to worry about these guys too much, I don't think. Okay, we haven't got anyone that's necessarily un like is actually hungry, per se. So, let's have a look at another commandment that we could do. So, why are they unhappy? They need metal. <clears throat> okay, so when they're unhappy, all the unhappy people... So that's going to trigger quite a lot of people around here. We want you to... Prioritise... Urge your followers to prioritise a certain... To perform... Go and get metals. Yeah. Let's try that. Let's see if that does anything at all. I'm hoping now, any, these people that are unhappy are going to go and seek out metals. I think. Maybe, maybe not. So they have some farm jobs. They have the food. Food is not in abundance though. We've got some lions and stuff over here. We have to watch out for lions eating our guys. Okay. Right, so these guys are now happy because they've got... Apparently these guys have got metals for survival. Whereas these guys don't, it seems. And these guys don't. So hopefully they should start sorting that soon. Okay, these guys are now hungry, so... Oh, there you go. So now because they're hungry, he's going to go out and hunt from the looks of it. Or at least it seems that way. Please don't get eaten by a lion. I beg of you not to get eaten by a lion. Okay. Can we order them to like start setting up farms, maybe? Okay, he got... It looks like he got some meat. So is he now going to... Let, let's speed this up. Alright, so they're going. And they're bringing meat back. So there you go. They're now classed as overfed. Right, so they're now... They, for a second they were happier. I don't like how close these lions are. Oh, they're just coming to eat the antelopes. Hopefully they're not going to eat us. Okay, so they're kind of sorting themselves out in food. Okay... Let's have a look at some of the other commandments we could write. Right, so... We want to...
we want young followers, old. We want like, I suppose we want. There's no ones like like adults with young classes like children, or is that going to just classes like young adults? So therefore, like, as it were, breeding age. So I'm just thinking whether I could do like young people. We want them to, as it were, get together and start having kids. Uh, okay. Is there already commandments in place, or is it just the ones that I've put? Apparently there's no commandment. Okay. Did my commandments stop? feel like... Oh, we've set up a new village. There is a new village over here. Okay. Hungry followers, which is quite a few. We urge you to prioritise... Antelope. Yes. That is now a commandment. They died. Well, crap. So there's too many old people from the looks of it. Uh, okay, unhappy followers. I want you to perform... A period when followers are born. So the hope is, is whenever they're unhappy, they're going to start... Having kids. <laughs> Just to make things harder on themselves. Because that's how we roll. Alright, so the commandments are only temporary. Okay, that would make sense why that suddenly failed on me horrifically. Okay, I didn't un I didn't know that they were timed. Well, that was... So how fast do these go then? Are these... Uh, on max speed, how fast do they go? I mean, they go quite quick. Not like majorly quick. On a normal speed, they probably wouldn't be too bad. Okay, and we're going to do another one towards Hungry again, just in case. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, I'm down to one village. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so we've got it set so that they prioritise going to get antelope while they're hungry. Um... Yeah. Food, the sustenance that is collected by the followers. Okay, when you're hungry, prioritise food. Yes? Maybe. Maybe that's going to work as a commandment. I don't know. Okay, he, he's going for antelope. Hopefully, the, your legacy ends here. Oh no! <laughs> I'm a horrible, horrible god. Ah, uh, well, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna try and keep this video kind of short. That gives you the kind of idea of what Crest's about. It's a sort of puzzle strategy esque game, but with like a god game sort of twist. It's kind of cool. I really like it. I am looking forward to seeing what they put in it later on down the line, and how they expand on it. Because my only concern is that. May, like, it's a good idea, but maybe it's limiting? Maybe it's not. I don't know. I can't quite... Maybe this is just my unimaginative mind. I'm, I'm struggling to see how f they're going to get it further. I mean, obviously they can start like expanding the, the level of commandments you can do. But if it's literally just a case of balancing everything, I'm worried that maybe you'd start to run out. Maybe. I don't know. I suppose that would obviously be dependent on the person as well. But I am looking forward to seeing this game finish. So maybe I'll come back to it when it's a little bit further down the line in development. But so far, very promising. A lot of potential. And plus, it's cheap. Which is always good for these little games. So, um, I would recommend checking it out. They are looking for people to check out this game and give them any feedback. So, if it's a game that you like the looks of, I would... They, but they basically want people in as early as possible. They've asked me to pass this on, so I'll, I will put it here. If this is a game that you find interesting, they are looking for people's feedback. They're not necessarily saying, 
go out and buy the game and give us your feedback. You've seen this video, you've got a rough idea, you can do some feedback. Obviously it's better if you own the game because you can test things for yourself. Because there could be something here that I've completely missed that you need to test yourself. Because I'm dreadful. So, if it's a game that you want to see really go forward, I would advise just going and at least checking out Steam page. If it's something you want to support, then go ahead and support it. Because they want as much feedback as physically possible so they can work with the community to try and make this the game that kind of everyone who's on board gets what they want. If that makes any sense. Maybe I'm not selling that right, but there you go. <sighs> so this has been Crest. It is available on Steam's Early Access. It's from Eat, Create, Sleep, which is a brilliant name, I will just add. And uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, leave me a like, drop me any comments about the game that you want to leave, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much, and hopefully I will see you soon. Bye-bye.